So this video is going to show you how to create walls um, in Floor Planner using an already imported image. So you're going to trace those walls. So let's start by going to Floor Planner. Make sure you're on your dashboard or your projects list, uh, and then you can click to open it. Now, one thing uh, you're going to want to do There's my design. I would like to move this background a little bit so that it's closer to this is what's sort of considered the origin. So I'm just going to click on that and drag this down. Maybe we'll put the front porch on there. OK. Now, the other thing you want to make sure that you have considered is the orientation of your house. So let's assume on this screen that north is facing up. Well, in my house design, I actually wanted this front door to be facing the east. So that should be facing to the right. So I'm going to go back into my background settings and I'll rotate this and let's say 90 degrees and we'll see if that rotates it left or right, which it rotated at the direction I didn't want. So I'm going to say negative 90. And there now my front door is facing to the east. Now you may already have your dimensions on here, but if you don't, I'm going to draw a dimension just to make sure that this is scaled like I thought it was. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that yet. So one important thing to note is if you want to pan while you're in the middle of a command like I am now, you hit the space bar and drag this. So there we go. I'm going to call that. Uh, good. Sorry, let me erase this again. And you can see we're slightly bigger than we thought we would be. Um, we can check going the down direction as well. But for the sake of this video, this is approximately what we wanted to get. So I'm going to just delete that dimension because now it's time to place walls. So what kind of walls are we going to place? First, to place a wall, you go to the hammer. And here's draw wall. But one of the first things you're going to want to do is set the material. So you may want to go to your uh, website that had your house on it and see what kind of um, what kind of siding was on that house on the exterior. Uh, you could pick, this one ha happens to have a lot of different options. Um, so you can pick whichever one you like the best. I'm going to go with this color. And now I'm going to go to my floor planner and say draw a wall. Now, if you're going to draw clockwise like we used to do in Revit, you're going to want the exterior side of the wall to be material one. So this is just if you wanted to paint the wall, but if you want to add material, uh, this has all kinds of materials in here. A lot of these are tile, and wood, sort of for floorings. Um, I'm going to pick this one because that's wood cladding. Um, note that they call it cladding. Uh, we tend to call that siding or clapboard. Um, but this country, or sorry, this software was created in the Netherlands, so they have different words, so you have to be careful with that. So now I'm going to hit back to settings. And now we have wood cladding on the outside and nothing for material two. So I'm going to say, let's just paint it. And maybe I'll pick one of these colors in here. It looks a little dark. There we go. And it's set to the chiffon. So I'm going to say back. And now we have our different materials set up for the wall. For exterior walls, I would like you to make them six inches thick because that's a good standard height for, or sorry, thickness for an exterior wall. And now you're going to want to just start drawing those walls. You can zoom in. Um, one thing I need to warn you about is it is going to draw from the center of the wall. So you see where I clicked, it was the center. And now to, if you want to zoom in, again, hit the space bar to drag that out. And you're not going to want to click to the outside like we used to in Revit. You're going to want to click to the center of that wall. And there's a little bit of you know, eyeballing going on here. Um, but so this is how you would do that. And I'm going to use my space bar again to zoom. Remember, anytime you have windows or doors, you're just going to draw a wall right through them because those objects have to be hosted objects anyway, which simply means that, um, that those items have to be inserted into a wall. Now we might want to fix this little problem here. There we 
There we go. And now my exterior is all set. So now you're going to want to draw all the interiors, uh, pick some paint colors. You can also go back in later and pick paint color. So I wouldn't worry too much about getting the paint color set right now. Uh, it's more just to have a nice paint or a nice um, placeholder. I know that wasn't the same one, but fine. We'll just go with two different uh, colors for now. And this is going to be four and a half inches thick. And now you just go through like you always have and start drawing your walls. Unfortunately, because uh, I just somehow lost the click, I lost my materials. I'm going to leave those for now and just start drawing the walls. You can see you can draw angled walls again here. I'm going to draw right through that door. And again, there's some approximating going on here because I don't know the exact angle that we want. I hit escape there because I want to draw this wall as one continuous wall. So I'm going to come over. I'm actually going to start up here. There we go. Now I'm not going to sit here and draw all the walls for you. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I'm not going to draw all the walls for you. Uh, I don't think you need to watch me do that. Um, but I will say if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable with where a wall ended up, you can drag and drop it. Um, you can also click the points down here. And there you can move the wall by doing that. Um, you'll notice that this is not aligned right here. We'll get to that later. Um, the other thing I would suggest is to go to your 3D mode. Rotate around by using your right mouse button and you'll see that we have exterior clap, clapboard or cladding on the outside and we have straight walls on the inside now. Maybe I could have made them a different color so you can more easily tell they were painted, but they were in fact painted. You also notice that there's automatically a floor added when you have a bounded area. So when an area is bounded by uh, four walls or any number of walls actually, then you'll have a floor created. So that's it. Um, I would like to see you create all of your walls on the inside of your house. Oh, I will say in a weird area like this where this triangle is coming, you have a triangular corner. You can just draw that wall. You don't have to fill in any space there. It wouldn't really be filled in in real life either, even though it's filled in, say, like right here. Um, but that's fine. Don't forget to hit save. And you are all set for walls once you've drawn them all in there.